Hello, Munir Ajam, Sukad, Applied Project Management YouTube channels, with another video on the role of project manager. And in this video, I believe is number four, I'm focusing on the uncommon debate we hear sometime with so many silly posters that goes on LinkedIn trying to compare project the role of a manager versus leader. And sometimes when they compare them, they make the manager to sound like an ignorant, incompetent person, and the leader is someone to be great. I want to move away from this debate of manager versus leader, uh, but I want to highlight some key points. Obviously, the key difference between manager and leader is that usually managers are responsible for getting work done. Uh, usually, they are, we follow project, plan, tasks, schedules, budget, um, we manage the team where a leader could be more of the motivator. Now, does it mean every project manager is a leader or every leader could be a good project manager? No. Uh, sometime, yes, uh, you could have situation where you have a project manager that is also, they have a lot of leadership skills. I mean, we need the management skills, okay? But could also have leadership skills, but... Uh, uh, Sometimes you might have leader have good management skills. So you could have situation where a person could combine skills from both sides. And sometimes you can have people that are good managers, but they are not good leader. And sometimes you can have good leader that are not good managers. So on project management, what do we need? Well, we need both. And if one person does not have the skills for both, we need to find the complement. We need to have a project. Let's say if I'm a project manager, and I have strong management skill, but not strong leadership skills, maybe I need to have someone on, on my team who could be more of the motivator, the leader, the one who keep everybody energized, uh, the social person, uh, or vice versa. If I'm a good leader, but I'm not really after good management, then I need to have someone on my team that really could be the one who would be uh, doing the work. I'm not doing the work, I mean managing the work, holding people accountable, uh, making sure things are being done. So what we are trying to say here, there are a manager versus leader. Both have excellent skills that we need to lead project, to manage and lead project to success and realize benefit. We need both. We cannot do it with one. And I'm not going to hang up here. Don't, let's don't get hang up on titles. You know, I'm not just going to give the leader to someone, ah, oh, you know, just because a person is of a position, that means that person is a leader. No. Uh, we're talking about good, real leadership skills, good, real management skills. We need both on a project. Here the question might be then, which one we need more? Ah, interesting. Years ago, I think 1998 or something like this, uh, Mr. Vijay Verma, um, who is, I think, a manager at one of the Canadian universities, but also a volunteer for PMI, wrote a series on the human aspect of project management. Jeffrey Pinto and others also wrote about leaderships and project management. So there are many leadership skills. But that one thing strike me from the book, one of the books that VJ wrote, is that over the life cycle of the project, if we think of a project over life cycle, beginning to end, what do we need? Well, I remember, uh, I might not remember every word, but basically in general, early in the project, we need strong leadership skills. We need that person, whether it's a project manager or someone else, to be able to put the team together, to motivate the team, to get the team uh, aligned, or the group of people that we bring in on a project, to get them aligned around the common objective, to have a shared vision and a common vision. So we need more of a leadership skills. Then when we get into maybe planning, and we need to start getting an and implementing the work, we need to be able to, be, to have discipline. Yeah? Pro good leaders, and some even situational leaders or servant leaders, might not be good implementers. Let's be careful with that. Yeah? Uh, they might be uh, people with nice vision, uh, but uh, it's, it's hard for them to stay focused on the detail to make those vision a reality. So they need help. So, as we move from the beginning, uh, we need leadership, and then we need the management to make sure that we stay uh, on board. 
and we keep the team together. A good manager have at least some basic leadership skills. And usually with projects, especially a bigger project, toward the end, we start to get into a situation where maybe the team start to get tired, maybe they start to lose motivation, maybe the project face some problem. Here we need the leadership skills to come up again and start to motivate and rally and maybe become like a cheerleader in a professional way. Motivate the team, keep the team together, keep them focused, work hard to, to allow them to see that this is, you know, the light of the end of the tunnel is near. We need to go, we need to move, we need to finish, we need to achieve success and realize benefit. And with this, I wish all your projects that are successful today, tomorrow, and always.